Hello everybody and welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise here on Madden 22 episode 16. We're back at home facing off against the Detroit Lions at 4-10. We are 11-3 after a huge victory against the San Francisco 49ers giving them their second loss of the year. We're only going to be playing offense today considering this is a game we definitely just should win. It's the national and I don't really want to play the whole defensive possessions, if that makes sense. We'll get a stop here on the first drive. Let's get into this. Hey, it's to Mike Davis. He'll run up the middle for seven. He had a good game last time out. Him and Patterson falling into that pure split more and more as we continue. So we round out our season. We are playoff bound. Ryan squares and fires to Pitts for about 15 yards. Such a good draft pick for the Falcons. More bootleg and Ryan gets it off just in time to Pitts. He's up to the 39. And a quick 34 yards for Pitts early. Gage in motion. Patterson is the back handoff. And Patterson not with the change of direction to hit that hole. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Paul Davis in the block here, second and ten. That's outside. Ridley has it for another 19. Dislocated shoulder. Ooh, four. Hennessy Dolman will come in. Yeah, right now you're right. They're in man to man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team himself. And Mike Davis has room. Touchdown, Falcons. Great hole. Davis hit it strong. Gets his 10th rushing touchdown of the year. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. On first and 10, it's Ryan. Flush to his right. Quick throw, Patterson. He's got it for three. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. So second and six here. And Hayden Hurst could not hold the line there. Third down and eight for the Falcons. Up for Gage. He's going to come down with it. Russell Gage beats Okuda. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Ryan. Ryan to the outside. It's Ridley there for six. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. This Falcons offense is clicking right now. Gage in motion. It's going to be a sweep to him. It's going to be a first down. And Gage is to the 19, an eight yard run. Need to get Patterson going here. Patterson to the outside gets the corner and has 12. There we go. Falcons look solid as of right now. Now Patterson hits the hole. Couple rushing touchdowns early for the Falcons. There's another one. This one for Patterson. Another punt back to the Falcons. The Falcons under Arthur Smith have been such a better team. Especially this offense. 
Second and four, handoff Patterson. He's going to find the hole, but tripped up, and we'll have a third down. Quick throw out Pitts. He's got it for about three. Jalen Mayfield is hurt again. They'll try the left side. Trying to stretch it to the outside. Big tackle there for Randall. We lose two. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. That's lobbed, and Ridley's going to come down with it. What a weird throw. But Ryan completes it to his best receiver. We'll keep Mayfield in. Ryan over 4,000 yards passing. Now Davis cuts it back. He's looked very good in these past couple weeks. Seven on first, here's second and three. Running game is looking great for the Falcons. Now a give right side. Patterson. Now and Patterson to the 50. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground. Running game has been good for the Falcons so far. And that one's not going anywhere. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Ridley engage out to the left. Quick throw to the tight end Pitts. He's got some speed. He's going to beat one down inside the 20 to the 19. Kyle Pitts. A big play there on the catch and run. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the gun, it's Ryan. Ryan, in zone, Ridley, touchdown. What an offensive start for these Falcons. They're going to get it back again here. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Oh, and he got nicked. And Ridley will just bat it down so it won't be picked. That is Ryan's first incompletion of the day. And what a move by Mike Davis! He's out of there! This is going to be an 80-yard touchdown! Mike Davis with the best run we've seen all year! What a move. Cuts it back. Jukes. Spins. Breaks. He's gone. What a play. And look at the Falcons right back out there. After the interception, Ryan on his feet. How about you get one yourself? No passing touchdowns today. But it's 35 to nothing. An absolute massacre here. Mike Davis, so impressive. Oh, not anything happening there. And Mayfield is hurt. Here's second and nine. Now a stoppage, and oh boy, we've got Mayfield shaken up on the play. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Mayfield is hurt again. Ryan squares, fires, gauge out of his reach. Otherwise, possibly a touchdown. Mayfield has also dislocated his shoulder. A couple linemen down for the Falcons now. leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Quick throw, Pitts, he's got the first, close to it, he did. Now 
They throw it in. It's going to lose two yards. Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first That run by Mike Davis was possibly the greatest run I've ever had in Madden. To throw again on second down. Ryan. Quick throw Gage. Gage is going to get out of bounds after nine. out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third. And just flip it. Have Ridley run the out again. Ridley will not come down with it, and it'll be a fourth and three. Hoffert durable punt. That was not an easy one to hold on to. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that'll be fair caught inside the 15. Falcons will get ball first here. If we score here, I think we will go to our bench. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, Ridley caught it. Oh, everything's going our way. I meant to throw it to the tight end. <laughs> Quick throw gauge. He's going to have about seven. Take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards to pick up there. Second down and three. Now it's Ryan. Oh, and Gage comes back to the ball and gets it. Wow. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 27-yard line. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. Now Patterson with some room. He's going to get inside the 15 down to the 12. 15 shy of the 10. 40 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Check down to Ridley. He's down to the two. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Pitch outside. Davis has it sealed. He's going to taunt him a little bit. His third touchdown of the day. And with that, we will go to our depth chart and pull out Felipe Franks. As your running back, Javian Hawkins will be your new number one. Okay, Quadre all send some carries. Let's get Alamade as the number one. There we go. Yep. And then a tight end. I'd like to see Hurst really get some action here. That'll be good. So the football will be at the 25 yards. So is Felipe Franks with Javian Hawkins as the back. Hawkins not going anywhere. His first carry. Hawkins had a huge return. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Felipe on target to Zacchaeus. Wow. Detroit challenges. I believe he was in. He was. We're going to keep airing this ball out. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed. Franks again with a laser. This one to Hayden Hurst. Franks with a couple really good throws. That's picked but out of bounds. Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just gonna be an incompletion. Some play action here. Franks fires down the field. It's inaccurate, not far enough. And we've got a third and long. Now up to Sharp. Why not? And it is incomplete. 
but it's incomplete. So we'll give Ku a try from 52. He can get it there. I know the ball's coming out high. That is going to be good, and the Falcons will get three. They will give it right back. Gonna stay aggressive here. Oh, wow, that was a little off the mark. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And we'll hand it off to Mike Davis here. And he's only going to get one. Eight rushes, 126 yards. That's a day. They'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. It's Franks now from the shotgun. It is not a great throw, but Zacchaeus comes down with it. He's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Alameda fighting for a new contract. Hawkins makes a man miss and gets about seven. Gets him right around the 43. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Hawkins breaks one to the 34. Now at the 34 yard line. Looking good. They certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their Quick time. read to Tajay Sharp. He's going to have only four. That's taken in by Tajay Sharp. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. The Franks looking to throw. Quick throw by Franks. Nice broken tackle by Mike Davis, and it'll be a close first down. Third and inches is called. How about the fullback get some love here? Fullback dive. It is right up the middle and a first down to the 20. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run... Felipe can run. That's what we're going to do here. But bad block there by number 67. Not going to hold anything there. One quarter remains here in week 16. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Working out of the gun, Franks. Flood concept to the end zone. It's Zacchaeus. He can't come down with it. I couldn't hang on to it. In the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. Off the play fake. Here's Franks. And he gets rid of it. It is incomplete. Who will come out for his second field goal of the day? He's been good today. He's hit two field goals and six extra points. Eight for eight on balls through the uprights. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And this crowd is certainly over 500 yards of total offense for the Falcons. Hawkins will get three. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's Goff and the Lions have a lot to figure out. Seven now from the 28. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hawkins. Keep it on the ground, and Hawkins will have five or six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations. Quick throw, Zacchaeus has it. Franks looks okay. Don't say great. He's not a great quarterback by any means, but he looks, he looks decent today. Hawkins hits a hole and has six. Mike Davis will come back in. This is one of his best run designs for him. He's going to get three or four. 
That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now Franks. Quick throw to Gage. I don't know why he's back on the field, but he's going to have the first. Russell Gage, 5 for 56. That's probably how his day will end. And a good block on the outside. Hawkins makes a man miss. Okuda misses. Hawkins, touchdown Falcons. Great blocking by the receiver, Tajay Sharp on the outside. And then a really good juke move. Makes a man miss, Javian Hawkins gets in on the scoring fun. So this offense will head back out there already an excellent field position. Gotta love Hawkins getting some good touches today. What a move, man. Some great running back play today. Now Franks will run. He's going to get about 13. Franks has some wheels on him. Up to Tajay Sharp. He's down to the eight. Tajay's got a couple catches today. And Zacchaeus is only going to get one. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Empty backfield. That's something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right Franks back. gets out of there. How about this? Touchdown Falcons again. Franks gets his own. With 2.36 left, we can run this ball. But that was a massacre today. 62 to 13. Ah, to the outside, Hawkins' room again, makes a man miss, he breaks a tackle, down to the 31, Javian Hawkins, such a big day for him, every running back has been good today, it's been an absolute beauty of a game out of the Falcons offense. Just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Hawkins. Oh, he's tripped up, loses three. Otherwise, that might have been a touchdown. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hawkins. Hawkins makes a man miss again. That juke move is lethal today. To the 15. Hawkins, working for a spot on the team next year. Now Hawkins makes a man miss, fights to the two. Won't be a touchdown quite yet. We're going to get him in. We have to. Hawkins in the end zone, rolls in. Two touchdown day for Javian Hawkins. What a game by the Atlanta Falcons, beating the Lions 69 to 13. The defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week, we'll just keep winning. Incredible performance by this Falcons offense. When they're scoring that many points, looking at the Lions first, golf played bad. Jamal Williams outperformed DeAndre Swift by a long shot. Receiving wise, it was Brashaw Perriman. For the Falcons, Matt Ryan, 17 for 20, 230 yards and a touchdown in the air. Felipe Franks, well, 131 rating for Ryan, 75.3 for Franks. He played decent passing. Uh, he got it going with his feet a little bit. Rushing-wise, Hawkins leads the team with 140 yards and two touchdowns. Davis had three touchdowns on 130 with that long of, of 80. 
Cordero Patterson, Cordero Patterson, I apologize. Uh, nine attempts for 40 yards and a touchdown. Franks even got an 18-yard touchdown, and Ryan also had a six-yard touchdown. Really balanced receiving game all throughout. Calvin Ridley, six for 99 and a touchdown. Kyle Pitts, five for 78. Gage, five for 56. These are things we've seen often. Nothing too shocking here. Blocking, no sacks given up. Mayfield had three pancakes. Richie Grant led in tackles. Tackles for loss. Two and a half more sacks for Mango. Two for Fowler. One for Jarrett and a half for Duran Harmon. AJ Terrell and Richie Grant both with picks. Just an all around dominant performance by the Falcons today. They didn't stand a chance from the start. Let's skip to the end here, come on. I don't really care about this stuff. I mean, I'm sure it's helping us, actually, but then I don't realize it. But we have some upgrades, and of course it's JV and Hawkins, too. Avery Williams will get an upgrade. We'll do his man-to-man. -man. He's a rookie out of Boise State. Drew Dahlman, who's probably going to have to get some time here, is our new center after Hennessy went down with a dislocated shoulder. Rookie out of Stanford, and Javian Hawkins, of course. The rookie out of Louisville. Big fan of that performance. Haven't been a huge fan of him previously, but that was big time out of him. We'll give him 74 overall, loose of back upgrade. Plus two to that juke move that was already killing some people. It's now in an 86. Let's go to Javian. Got some players ready to negotiate. I think Alamade, I think we're going to have to let go of him as we are uh, Patterson. I think I want to go Mike Davis as the main back with Javian as the two next year. Alamade, I think I'm going to go a different direction. Uh, TJ Green, I think he would be a good person, to, a good player to sign as a backup. So we'll make that offer. Nice. We get TJ Green to stay. Um, Sharif Miller, interesting, I think I'm gonna let him go, as Jaden Greenwell as well, yeah, and we can sign him again, we can go a one year deal for Sharif Miller, all up his signing bonus, another 10,000. All right, and Sharif Miller stays. Cool. So we will keep a backup left outside linebacker. No need for another tight end. And we also could always use tight end or a D tackle. Any of these guys I really want to re-sign? Not at all, actually. So, yeah, that'll do it for the end of this episode. We will face off against the Bills next week on the road. They are 4-11. They're not a great team. We are in the playoff hunt right now. We are number three still. And we will get to uh, face the Saints in the last week. A couple not-so-hard games. I think the Bills are better than us, and they are. But let's check out some stats. We haven't looked in a while. Matt's seventh in touch and yards, fourth in passing touchdowns, but 38. Uh, Patterson stopped 30 in rushing yards. And then receiving wise, Gage actually up there in receiving yards. For us, it's definitely been um, an aggressive offense. Hawkins getting nearly all of his yards in that last game. Um, Ryan has four rushing touchdowns. That's impressive. Mike Davis is the touchdown back. And uh, I think he has been, I don't know, maybe slightly more effective than Patterson lately. Or Patterson was more effective at the beginning of the year. Lately, it's been Mike. That's why we just split it. Um, Gage is leading our receiving yards by a good margin, but Ridley is leading our touchdowns by a good margin. Pitts has been really good, too. He's going to have a 1,000-yard season as a rookie. Um, Zacchaeus is not a bad third option. At least Ridley will have three 1,000-yard receivers. 
And then, I mean, our backs are doing good receiving-wise. Hayden Hurst. We don't need him too bad. Uh, sacks allowed. Caleb McGarry's been the worst. In terms of tackles, Fuyasade Aluakon leads the team tackles for a loss. How about Grady Jarrett with 23? And sacks. Just an insane pass rush this team has right now. I think this is like the record or something, which is unrealistic. Especially for a guy like Mingo, who's literally a 75 overall. But, I mean, he is, like, insanely good in this game right now. So, you know, you do your thing, Mingo. But Dante Fowler has been good. Grady Chair, it's been good. Or incredible, actually. Uh, in terms of picks, yeah, Deion Jones kind of killing it. Kicking-wise, Koo's been pretty average. Um... Incredible on extra points, but 12 for 16 otherwise. Hoff Richter, done pretty good, um, I guess, I don't know. And then the kick return, it's been Javion Hawkins for the most part. Um, and he's hit a pretty good, he's had one good run back this year, but kick returning is really hard in this game. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Playoff football is coming up. I hope you all like it. If you enjoyed the video, I already said that stuff. I'm out.